Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Thanos in stand difficulty. Now, while I say it's Hulk, it's actually Bruce Banner, as we are doing the Hulk Says No, Bruce Banner Defeats Thanos deck by Inigo Montoya. Great name and great reference to a great movie, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, let's go through our setup. So, we have our 50 card deck here of Justice. Uh, the idea is we stay down in alter ego form. Um, let's face it, I'm probably not going to resist flipping to Hulk because we all know me. I like the Hulk smash. Uh, but otherwise, we'll see how we go with the strategy. Uh, we have the Infinity Stones uh, main scheme here. Uh, for setup, we put the Infinity Gauntlet into play. So uh, it's a permanent setup. And after the attached villain activates, resolve the special on each Infinity Stone in play. Otherwise, put the top card in the Infinity Stone deck into play. So we have our Infinity Stone deck here. Uh, we'll just shuffle it up and we'll keep it there so we don't get confused with the main encounter deck. Uh, we advance to 1B. And when revealed, we put the top card of the Infinity Stone deck into play. So we have a Power Stone. And we search the encounter deck uh, for the Sanctuary side scheme and reveal it. It's probably in here somewhere. There it is. So Sanctuary... Uh, it comes in with three threat and hinder one, so we have four threat on it. Uh, it goes into the victory display when completed. While it's in play, Thanos cannot take damage, and when defeated, each player may spend up to three physical resources from their hand, deal two damage to Thanos for each physical resource spent this way. Uh, this damage ignores the tough status card. So we'll put our four threat on there. Uh, the Infinity Stone sweats out 12, starts at zero, goes up one per player at the start of the villain phase. Thanos himself has a scheme of one, attack of two, but with the Infinity Gauntlet, it's given him plus one to his stats. He's got the Star Wart, so he can't be stunned or confused. And he has a forced response after the Infinity Stone deck runs out. Gives Than give Thanos a face down boost card. So I think with everything set up, we'll drop a hand size of five. We have Agent 13, Vigilante Training, Meditation, Surveillance Team, and a Beat Cop. Um... We'll hold to Agent 13 and the Meditation. And we'll Mulligan Surveillance Team. And the Beat Cop. Hold to Vigilante Training, draw two more cards. We have another Meditation and Avengers Mansion. Ugh. Okay, this changes my plan a bit. We will... Experimental research to draw a card and discard a card. Just limitless strength. Oh, now I'm really debating my plan. All right, so much for not flipping up to Hulk. We are going to throw away one of our meditations. We're going to exhaust. Using meditation, so exhaust your alter ego. Play a card from your hand, reduce its resource cost by three. We're going to do that. We're going to throw vigilant, vigilant training to put an Avengers Mansion. Ready, we will exhaust Avengers Mansion to draw a card. So, have a surveillance team. Oh, I'd rather get surveillance team into play. We're going to flip up to Hulk. We're going to spend four resources to put Agent thir 13 into play. So, after she attacks or thwarts, we can choose a shield support and ready that support, but we don't need to worry about that right now. We're just going to thwart two off Sanctuary. And then we're ready. We get four cards. We have a Hulk Smash, Crushing Blow, Banner's Lab, and a Heli Carrier. We get one throughout the main scheme. Thanos is going to attack us for three. We're going to take it. So three plus one is four. Take four damage. And then the Power Stone will trigger. So you are stunned. If you're already stunned, you take three damage. But when it's done, so we'll just get our stun. Get our encounter card, which is his helmet. Attached to Thanos, he gains Retaliate. We can, uh, after we make a base attack, we can spend a mental and physical to discard that card. Which we could do, but we roll, we, yeah. And we'll Avengers Mansion to draw a card. We have Homeland Intervention. Hmm.
All right, we're going to spend three resources to put in a heli carrier. Uh, we'll attack with Hulk to remove our stunned. We will then. Play Homeland Intervention, exhaust up to three shield cards you control. Oh, sorry, we should actually have one damage on Agent 13 for her board earlier. Uh, exhaust up to three shield cards you control, which we'll is exhaust the heli carrier. Uh, choose a scheme, remove up the two threat from the scheme for each card. And this way, we'll do it to the Sanctuary. So this goes away. Thanos can now take damage. And we're going to flip down and ready. Draw five cards. We have a suborbital leap, genius, under surveillance, energy, and vigilante training. So we get one threat in the main scheme. Thanos is going to scheme for two plus one is three. Pushing us to five. Uh, he gets a stone, which is going to be the soul stone. Get our card. Uh, the Titan's throne. Uh, comes with two threat. Uh, when we defeat it, um, it we can choose uh, and discard a new stone from play, and it's given him the amplify. All right, we are going to use our experimental research to draw a card. And wait, no, first we'll Avengers Mansion. Got a parent all of us. Then we're going to use our experimental research to draw a card and discard a card. It's a Hulk smash. I mean, part of me wants the Hulk smash. You all know what I want to do. Um, uh, let's throw away the suborbital leap. We'll trust the system. We'll trust the system. All right. We're going to use a genius. Put under surveillance into play, so we're going to push the threshold for Infinity Stones to 16. We will exhaust the Halley Carrier to put in Vigilante training. That comes in with two counters. As an alter reaction, we can exhaust this, remove one training counter from it, choose a Justice Yellow event from your disc compile, and shuffle into your deck. We're going to do that. So we can get a Homeland Intervention back into our deck. Uh, Agent 13 is going to thwart uh, for two off here. So when defeated, we can choose and discard a new stone from play, which we'll do to get rid of the soul stone. Gets rid of his amplify. And we can't resist doing this. So we flip up into Hulk. We're going to spend three resources for Hulk smash. We could also have readied Heli Carrier through Agent 13, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we're going to Hulk smash for 13 onto Thanos. Him down to three, and he retaliates on us for one. And we're ready. We'll draw four cards. We have a crushing blow, beat cop, Monica Chang, and a movable object. Uh, we get one threat on the main scheme. Thanos is going to attack us for three. We'll take it plus four, five. Taking us down to eight. Get a, uh, he gets a stone coming into play, which is going to be the mind stone. Get on counter card, the villain schemes. So he schemes for two plus, uh, if this stone from attack defeats an ally, put the top card of the stone deck. It is not an attack, so we don't need to worry about that. So he's scheming for two. And then the mind stone triggers, which are, you are confused. Back to our turn. We're going to flip down. We're going to experimental research. No, we're going to Avengers Mansion. Get a card, which is Nick Fury. 
We're going to experiment for research to draw a card and discard a card. We have another beat cop. Throw that away. We will use the heli carrier, a movable object, beat cop and crushing blow to bring in Nick Fury. After Nick Fury enters play, uh, we're going to draw three cards. We have Quake, Meditation, and Homeland Intervention. We are going to use Meditation, exhaust your alter ego, play a card from your hand, reducing it by three. To bring in Monica Chang. After Monica Chang enters play, search your deck, hand, discard pile uh, for a copy of the Svans team, support, put into play. And then we put an additional uh, Snoop counter on it. There it is. Let's put them here. So it's going to have four Snoop counters on it. Um, we will then play Homeland Intervention. We're going to exhaust up the three shield cards we control and choose a scheme of two threat for each card exhaust. So we will exhaust Surveillance Team, Agent 13, and Monica Chang. Take six thread off here. That's not a thwart, doesn't, so it doesn't worry about our confused. Uh, Nick will then thwart for another two and take one consequential damage. We'll hold on to Quake and then we'll ready up. Uh, we'll get four more cards. We have Unstoppable Force, Unstoppable Force, Under Surveillance, and Blade. We get one threat in the main scheme. Thanos is going to scheme for two, plus give him a tough status card. He gets an Infinity Stone, which is going to be the Time Stone. Then we get our Encounter card, which is Ebony Moore, who's villainous. Okay. We roll Avengers Mansion to draw a card. We have Machine Man. Oops, sorry, Nick Fury goes away. Experimental research to draw a card, discard a card. It's Homeland Intervention. We'll throw away Machine Man. Okay, we are going to. Homeland Intervention, Exhaust Monica, and the Surveillance Team to clear this off. We're going to recover four with Bruce. Taking up twelve. We will use the heli carrier. Mm. And surveillance team. Put Quake into play. Quake will attack for two on Ebony Moore. Taking one consequential. Uh, Agent 13 will attack for one. I don't have any more. Which will ready heli carrier. We're then going to flip up into Hulk. We're going to use the heli carrier. Uh, and stop a force. 
to play on Stopple Force. So ready Hulk, if you pay for the Zuzone Physical Resources, which we did, draw one card. Oh wait, before we flip up, I'm going to use our last Vigilante training to put Homeland Intervention back into the deck. So technically, put this back in there. And now I draw a card, just strength. Um, and I'm just going to attack with Hulk for three to knock out Ebony more. And we're going to throw away Blade and Strength because we're not going to be able to use them for anything. And we're in Hulk mode now. So we're ready. We'll draw four cards. We have a Sky Destroyer, Boundless Rage, Surveillance Team, and Power in all of us. Get one threat in the main scheme. Thanos is going to attack us for three. We will we'll take it. Three plus another three, so six. Taking us down to six. And then we get the time stone, we discard the top four cards uh, of your deck and place one threat on the main scheme for each different card type discarded this way. So we have an ally, upgrade, ally, and upgrade. So two threat. Then we'll get our encounter card. Master of the Stones, we'll touch the Thanos. Okay. Well, Avengers Mansion, the draw card. It's limitless strength. Hmm. Okay. We're going to use our limitless strength to put in a surveillance team. So come in with three counters on it. We will not do much really. Uh, we'll spend three resources, so power and all this and bounce rage to put in a sky destroyer. Uh, after you play a shield card, exhaust sky destroyer, deal to damage to enemy. This is a shield card, we just played it, so we can actually exhaust this and knock off Thanos' stuff. We will then thwart one with Monica Chang and use these guys. One count each to get rid of all the thread on here. We'll flip down with Bruce and recover four. And We're ready. Monica should have a damage on her. All right, we've got five cards. We have Agent Coulson, Thunderclap, Homeland Intervention, Thunderclap, and another Homeland Intervention. All right, one throughout the main scheme. Now this is going to scheme. Now when Thaz activates, put the top card of the Infinity Stone deck into play. And then this activation discard Master Stone. So he'll get uh, Reality Stone in play. So he's going to scheme for one, two, three, four, five. And this will go away. Pushing us to six out of 16. And then the Reality Stone discard an ally, upgrade or support you control. We are going to discard Monica Chang because we're about to go through our deck and it'd be great to get her to reoccur her again. Uh, then we'll get our encounter card. I mean, it'll give Thanos one face down boost card. 
Okay. What's our plan here? We're going to heli carrier. And. Oh, wait. First of all, we'll do Avengers Mansion. Draw a card. Suborbital Leap. That'll deck us out. So we'll get an encounter card. We'll then experimental research, draw a card and discard a card, which is power in all of us, which is of no help to us right now, so we'll just throw it away. Then we'll Heli Carrier and Thunderclap and a suborbital leap to play Agent Colson. After Colson plays, we can search our deck and discard pile for a preparation card and add it to our hand. We'll grab counterintelligence. We will then Homeland Intervention. Sourced up the three shield cards, surveillance team, surveillance team, uh, quake, to remove all six threat from here. We will, what will we do here? Oh, and when we played the shield card, just Coulson, we can exhaust Sky Destroy, deal two damage to Thanos. We will recover four with Bruce. We are actually then going to attack with Coulson. It's going to get, actually, no. Coulson will just take the one consequential because he'll defeat Thanos, which means the retaliate won't trigger. So we go into stage two of Thanos. He comes in with toughness. And we search and count and discover for his helmet and reveal it, but he's already got it, so that's fine. Uh, so it's still Star Wars, still the same sort of situation, except the hits a bit harder and schemes a bit more. Uh, now the question is, do we stay there again? Do I stay down and trust the system, or do I flip up, take the hits? So I could flip up and actually not do much of anything. Nope. We'll trust system. We'll spend two and put in a counterintelligence. So any amount of threat is placed on the main scheme, we can discard that and prevent three of that threat. Uh, we'll keep Agent 13 around. I might eventually block with her, I guess. We'll see. And we're ready. Oh, and Thanos now has 23 health. Or 23 hit points. Uh, we'll draw our five cards. We have Strength, Blade, Beat Cop, Meditation, another Meditation. Hmm. We get one threat in the main scheme. Thanos is going to scheme for three plus four and uh, give Thanos a tough status card. He's already got one. So he's going to scheme for four, but we're just going to use counter intelligence to prevent three of that. So he goes up by one. Then he'll get the space stone. Which will give him a face down boost card because the Infinity Stone deck has run out. Shuffle that up. Get our encounter cards. Uh, the Black Order. So while the Black Order minion is in play, threat cannot be removed from this side scheme and it's given us a hazard icon. And it comes with two threat per player. And in a demons, give to the Bruce Banner player. Uh, we flip our form, 
Then for Hulk, we exhaust our hero. Cool, that's all right. I mean, doesn't help our meditation situation, but that's fine. We'll Avengers Mansion draw a card, a movable object. <laughs> well, now I'm tempted, aren't I? Okay, we're going to use a heli carrier and strength to put in a movable object. So we're going to get four hit points and retaliate. I'm wearing my helmet now, Thanos. Um, we'll just thwart for two of Agent 13. Knock her out. Get rid of the Black Order. And we we'll use meditation to play blade. Go over here. Uh, blade's going to attack the two, and we'll spend a physical resource so that he doesn't go away. He's going to get retaliated for one from Thanos. Uh, he's going to knock off the tough. We will then, these should be ready, right? Mm, I don't know. Uh, we will port for two with Colson. We're going to flip down. We'll hold on to meditation, it might be useful for next round. And we're ready. Get four more cards. We have Beat Cop, Vigilante Training, Meditation, Homeland Intervention. Okay, one threat in the main scheme. Thanos is scheming for three plus. Four. Uh, if it's damage attack defeats an ally, it's not going to, so schemes for four, pushing us to five. Then we have the space stone, we discard uh, cards from top of the counter deck until a minion is discarded and put that minion in play. There's super giant, and they've just come into play, so they're gonna scheme for two. They have quick strike, but it doesn't matter because we're an alter ego. Get our encounter card. We have tribute. Gonna put a Christ Psych on the play. I went to feed the other player who defeated this scheme a face down encounter card. All right. We're going to Homeland Intervention and exhaust this Savant's team, this Savant's team. Oh, uh, and when she would have schemed, we would have exhausted Quake to deal two damage to her. Sorry. Got about this whole point of why I got Quake out there. And we'll exhaust Coulson to take six threat off here. Taking that. Oh, wait, sorry. While we do that, we need to deal with that. So, no, we'll thwart for two of Coulson, which will knock him out. To get rid of Tribute, which will get us an encounter card. Then we're going to do one, two, and three shield cards to take six off here. Out play a shield guard, we're going to do Sky Destroyer. Um, and we're going to do two damage to Thanos. We're going to, well, we'll do Avengers Mansion, draw a card. Huh. So I don't have all strength in my hand. Um, oh. Okay. In that case, we are going to do a meditation to put in a beat cop. 
Let's put him over there. Exhaust the beat cop and remove one threat from a scheme to here. And then going to use the other meditation to pay for a vigilante training. Comes with two counters. We're going to exhaust one of those. Let's put a homeland intervention back into our deck. Christ icon's gone. Oh, this should be gone as well. Now uh, we're going to hold on to Hulk Smash. And we're all ready. Get four more cards. We have Lockjaw, Surveillance Team, Energy, Boundless Rage. One throughout the main scheme. Thanos is scheming for three plus one is four. Gets a stone, be the time stone. Then Super Giant's going to scheme for two. We'll exhaust Quake to deal two damage to Super Giant. Get our counter cards. Uh, this will get Surge. Get the Black Dwarf. I'm running out of space here. And uh, I'm inevitable. When revealed, give Thanos one face down boost card. Okay. We will Avengers Mansion the draw card. Homeland Intervention. We'll experimental research to draw a card, discard a card, ingenuity. Uh, uh, really want to hang on. No, I can do this. We're going to throw ingenuity. Okay, we are flipping up into Hulk. We're going to use the Halley Carrier to reduce the cost of Hulk Smash. And we're going to use a Boundless Rage and Lockjaw to pay all physical resource for Hulk Smash. Um, we are going to do it all on Black Dwarf. So he takes six and then Thanos will take seven. Taking him down to 14, and he doesn't retaliate because we did it through overkill. Uh, we will spend two resources to put in another surveillance team. Comes in with three counters. Uh, after we play a shield card, we can deal two damage. We will we'll do it on Super Giant. We can't afford to get stunned by her. We'll then Homeland Intervention to exhaust the three shield cards, which will do all our surveillance teams. Take six threat off here. Um, use our beat cop to take the last thread off the main scheme, and we're ready. We'll get four cards, power on all of us, 
Hulk Smash, Banner's Lab, and Suborbital Leap. One throughout the main scheme. Thanos is going to attack us. Uh, we are just going to block it with Quake. Just coming in with three, four, uh, five, and a scan ally or upgrade your control. All right. Uh, well, we'll just throw away ally or upgrade. Ally or upgrade. Oh, do I do I throw away the movable object? No, we'll get rid of blade. Blade will go away. Quake takes the hit. Uh, that's all resolved, and then we discard four cards uh, of our deck and one threat for each card type. So we have a resource, ally, resource, and ally, so two threat. Get our encounter card, fill in schemes. So that's going to scheme for three plus discard an ally or support you control. We will just. Get rid of Vigilante training. And what was that? He schemed for three. Right. Pushing us to six. We'll get another Infinity Stone. Okay, we'll Avengers Mansion to draw a card under surveillance. Doesn't really matter right now. We are going to what are we going to do? We're going to spend one and a heli carrier and Banner's lab. Three resources to Hulk Smash for thirteen. Taking Thanos down to one. He retaliates on us for one. Uh, we're going to use each of our surveillance teams, moving a token from each. Take three off here. Beat Cop will take off another one. I will throw away our cards because we're going to stay up into Hulk. We'll get four cards. We have Unstoppable Force, Unstoppable Force, Vigilante Training, and Moon Girl. Villain phase begins. We get one threat in the main scheme. Thanos is attacking us for four. We are going to defend. So four plus nothing. We're going to take one. We're going to retaliate one of the Thanos. And he's going to be defeated. So there we have it. Hulk, strongest one there is. Uh, Banner, possibly most valuable one there was for a while. Uh, but ultimately, there we have it. Hulk beating Thanos. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.